Hi guys, it's Rudy. And I want to thank Harry for his latest submission to his section of the session room, something that he calls Seventh Sense. A great little effect. Go take some time to check it out. He leaves it sort of open-ended. He gives you some options on how to bring that effect to an end. Really great stuff. And I just wanted to show you how I chose to end this using the sort of the premise of an impossible conclusion by John Kerry. It's in his 24-7 DVD set on the second volume of that set. And it's based on a Larry Jennings trick, but what Harry's presented with uh, us with uh, allows me to eliminate sort of this the spectators cutting and uh, having to ensure that they place the packets on the proper pile. It causes you to have to deal with a lot of spectator management, which is fine, but sometimes you don't want to screw around with that, right? So this is what this looks like. Uh, what happened, this is a freely selected card by a spectator, so imagine they take this card. I won't look at it, but I will show you. Okay. So imagine that's their card. You see that? And place it in the middle of the pack. All right. Uh, then at this point, you can have the spectator shuffle the pack, and you really can't have them shuffle it. At that point, they're going to cut the deck into three piles. That's all you have to do at this point. And then you're going to tell them while your back's turned to find the packet that has their card and then remove that card from that packet and move it to any other one. So say it's in this packet. Okay? They would move it from this packet into whichever one. Say they move it into the middle packet. All right. So you turn around and after having uh, turned your back, turn back over here to the cards and say, my seventh sense tells me that you moved the card from this one. So this is, your card's no longer in there, so it must be in one of these two. Okay, right? So now you look through and you determine that, yes, their card uh, must then, in fact, be here, this one. So you now show them that their card is here, and you were right. So you would go through and show them a certain, uh, certain amount of cards, like you see it here. Say, is your card one of those? I know this lighting is kind of jacked up. See, it's not one of your cards there. Is it? No? Okay. Not there. How about, is it one of these ones? You got the nine, four, king, and the two hearts? No. Interesting. Okay. Uh, how about, is it in one of, is it one of these? And they say, no, it's not any of those. So, magician in trouble. All right. So, it's not in there, then it must have been in there. So then I have to use magic to correct the situation. Imagine that one of these face down cards travels on over to these face up cards. And you spread them to show that there is in fact one card face down. What was their card? They say, oh, I don't know, six of clubs. You say, wow, isn't that interesting? Look, there's the six of clubs. So using Harry's uh, seventh sense, it allows you to kind of clean up uh, this other trick by John Kerry clean up. I don't mean to be so arrogant to say that I'm cleaning it up, but I don't like it when you have to tell a spectator to now take one of those packets, okay, and place that on any other one. No, you know, and it gets confusing and you're concerned that they're going to put, they're not going to follow the directions right and blow the whole trick up. So anyhow, just really quickly wanted to show you what you could potentially do, how powerful that seventh sense is that Harry posted with a little creativity or thinking on your part. Can bring it to a cool end. So anyway, thank you, Harry, for your presence here, and thank you for contributing to the forum, and uh, this is great. Thank you. All right, fellas, I'm out. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.